Hello and welcome to a statue review for the Pop-Up Parade Yoko from Gurren Lagann. Uh, so, today we have the third of the, the trio from Gurren Lagann. Uh, about a month ago, or just over I think, did a review for Simon and Kamina. Well, finally the trio is complete, because Yoko came out very recently. So, we're going to take a look at the statue. So, as usual, I'm going to start by showing you guys the box, and then we'll get into the statue itself. So on the front we've got the uh, Papa Parade stuff. It does say Yoko, and not L Yoko Littner. Which is weird, because technically you would just call this Papa Parade Yoko. That doesn't tell you anything, really. I mean, is it John Lennon's wife? Uh, who knows. Uh, anyway, we've got good, muscle, good small company on the side there. Papa Parade on that side. Legal stuff on the bottom. And of course, Yoko herself. We'll take a better look at her in a minute. The downside of Papa Parades is, well, it's clear. It's a little bit hard to make out details because there's so much plastic. And on the back, these are her, like, main colours, I guess. Red, her hair, pink is her skin, I guess. I don't know what the significance of black is, but, you know. Anyway, I'm going to go tear into this now and pull her out, and then we'll take a look at the statue itself. Okay, I have taken her out of the box and assembled her, so it is time to take a look at the statue in detail. So she comes with the fairly standard, uh, slightly translucent black base. I was kind of hoping for a red one, maybe, but I do have quite a few statues with red bases from pop-up now, so uh, it's not exactly something you know that I, I'd really desperately need. So, as always, we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. Uh, so. She kind of pegs in uh, both leg, uh, both little pegs on one foot there, obviously, because her other is raised. Um, and kind of curiously, actually, her foot is kind of hovering on this translucent plastic, which I've never seen with a pop-up before. I mean, it makes sense with the pose, I guess. It's the best they could do. Otherwise, they'd probably have had to have had something up there to hold her if they pegged the foot directly in. But, you know, an interesting choice, nonetheless. Um, so then we've got her iconic boots. I do love her boots. They're kind of flamey, very uh, very early 2000s uh, kind of offspring stuff. Uh, and we've got the little zips as well. Very, very nice detail. I don't think I, I don't think I even picked up that Yoko had zips on her boots, but she does. And they're on both boots there. So look at the heels and stuff. Uh, and then we move up to her shiny pink tights, um, which they, uh, I, I think for, for gentlemen of, gentlemen of culture, will notice there is a little bit of a thigh pinch there, uh, to denote the very top of them. Uh, also, big shout out to the paint apps on these tights, because they look, like, really shiny and stuff, like, you can definitely tell they're completely different material, so, uh, you know, they catch the light really nicely, which is pretty cool. Uh, move up then, of course, to her iconic hot pants. Uh, are they hot pants? Shorts? I don't know what the exact name is, but she's got her shiny metal belt buckle. And again, it's that kind of paint that we've seen on pop-ups before, which is like, it's a little bit... I don't know if dull is the word, but it reflects light the same way metal would, which is pretty cool. And, of course, it has studs all over that also reflect light, as you can see there. Uh, we've got some more detailing uh, around the back there, of course. There's uh, the... They don't skimp on the detailing, I'll give them that. Uh, and then up to her midriff. Uh, and, actually, you know, you know, we'll go on to her, hand, on, on to her hands. How is that so difficult to say? Uh, so, we've got, like, a, a wrist. Thing. I don't remember her wearing, but she does, apparently. Uh, and again, that's kind of got the metallic paint on it as well, because these are little gold bits. She's got a bold fist. And she's got arm tights. I don't know what you call them. Uh, and obviously, that's just on her left arm. I It's been a while since I've seen Gurren Lagann. I don't remember that, but apparently she only has her on one arm and just a glove on the other. I don't know what happened there, but okay. Uh, and then we move on to her hair. No, uh, we, we we move on to yet more uh, very good sculpting. Uh, good Lord, the it's how I remember the anime depicting her outfit. Uh, we've got it's it's 
tied in place at the back. Um, I, I shudder to imagine the sheer force uh, in, exerted upon that knot that is holding on for dear life. I um, feel like, you know, maybe she's uh, under, she's underestimated the size required for this bikini hot pants duo. Um, the, those, that, that bra doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, comfortably fitting everywhere, but I mean, no complaints. Um, so we've got her scarf as well, uh, her iconic scarf, because just in case she gets cold, you know. Um, very cute. I, I, I like that it's also kind of um, flowing, you know, as all cloth does in modern statues, which I'm always a fan of. Um, I feel, wait, I swear there was like, ah, oh, I thought there was always like a, a bit at the end of the scarf that like comes down. But no, maybe it's just like a muffler kind of thing then. Okay. Uh, as I say, it has been a few years since I've watched Gurren Lagann. I need to rewatch it. And then we move up to her glove and her hand. She's kind of saluting. Oh, wait, no, she's not saluting. She's holding her uh, shades. We'll get onto that in a second. We've got her hair, which big kudos to the hair, actually, because it kind of, it flows more than I expected it. I mean, obviously, I saw a picture of this and I pre-ordered it, but, I, you know, it's it's been a couple months and I didn't remember. I thought it was just a kind of fairly flat thing, but I like that it's kind of whipped up and it looks like, you know, she's in motion kind of flows up there. Obviously it's not going to be as super detailed as like the hundreds and hundreds of pounds statues, but I think it does a really nice job. And to be fair, it fits with Gurren Lagann's um, visual theme as well. It is a bit more flat and basic, uh, like intentionally so, not not that, you know, not that they don't uh, put effort into the anime. And then we move on to her face. Her face is great, I think. Her eyes and her mouth and everything is, you know, as it is in the anime, it's, it's spot on, really. And then we move on to, so there's her little pin there, her hair pin, which is very nice, uh, very cute. And of course, then we have her shades, which are kind of translucent and very Carmina-esque. Um, yeah, I remember her wearing this, but not as much, to be honest. But yeah, it, it's a nice touch that they've given her the shades as well. My camera is now picking that up as a face as well, so. Well done to my camera. Um, oh yeah, and of course she's got the hair pin. Is that a hair pin? I don't know how, what you'd... They're kind of like chopsticks really, aren't they? Shoved through her hair to keep her uh, ponytail there. And I think you can see the bottom of them there or something. Right, well. That was a, that was a nice look at uh, Yoko's details. <laughs> Uh, right, I'm now going to go ahead and take some photos of her and put it to music in a montage that I always do with my statue reviews. So, here comes the montage. All right, I am back, and as you can see, I've brought the boys out. It had to be done, because it's finally come full circle. Uh, all the three main characters from Gurren Lagann are here in the Papa Parade uh, series. And honestly, that brings me a lot of joy. I thought it would be a while till we got all these guys. But no, we got everyone and pretty early on in Papa Parade's uh, history, so... That's pretty exciting, and to be honest, I can't really think of many more I'd like to see from Gurren Lagann in pop-up. Maybe future Simon and future Yoko would be cool, just because they've got really cool outfits. But you know, as it is, I'm incredibly happy with this, so this is how I'm going to display them, obviously, but in my detoff. And yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. I mean, they obviously all scale well together as well, because they're from the exact same line. I know between lines there's a little bit of a scaling kind of thing. That's just, you know, how characters are portrayed. But it is really satisfying to have three from, you know, the same series and have it complete, really. Uh, yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm really digging Yoko. Her paint applications and stuff are great. When I first saw her in the box, I was a little bit disappointed. She didn't come with a sniper rifle. I was like, ah, oh, well, she looks a bit of a basic statue, a little bit like Simon, to be honest. But honestly... 
after taking a closer look at her and stuff, um, much like the Ran Mitake from Bang Dream Popper Parade, the paint daps and like little details really make it worth it for me. I think it's taken it from like an average statue I'm happy to have as part of a set to genuinely one of my favourite statues that I have at the moment, especially one of my favourite anime girl statues. I mean, Yoko is iconic, you know. It's to many of us, she was the gateway into anime girls. Um, and yeah, and honestly, this is just, it's nice to have all three of them together like this. I'm kind of just going around in circles now, I can't think of much more to say. But honestly, yeah, this is, um, if you're a big fan of Gurren Lagann, I think it is worth getting all three. I know it's a little bit expensive, but, you know, I mean, ultimately you've got, you've got the display that you're probably not going to need anything else for ever. So, you know, it's pretty cool. But that about wraps up my review for the Papa Parade Yoko Littner from Gurren Lagann. Thank you guys very much for watching until the end here. Um, let me know if you've got her or any of the other two. Um, or, you know, if there's any other Papa Parades you recommend me that I haven't bought. Because, you know, there's, there's a lot out there now. So I'm definitely, I mean, I'm kind of slowly running out of room. But I can make more, you know, if for the right statues. But yeah, that about wraps it up. I will leave you guys a playlist of all my other statue reviews and the random playlist that YouTube has decided. Um, yeah, and until next time, do the impossible, see the invisible.